That guy running Telstra is about as low profile as any guy running Telstra could be. His name is David Thody and he's announced his retirement today. Andrew Penn, who's currently the Chief Financial Officer, will take over in May. The share price response was about as exciting as a Telstra press conference, but Optus shareholders were dancing in the streets, suggesting their competitor might be less effective in the future. Under David Thody, Telstra's value doubled, the company's mobile performance and customer service ratings improved. He also realised he could get a better deal off taxpayers by playing ball on the NBN. Telstra has outperformed its major competitor and the global telecommunications index which has picked up in the past two years. The market responded to another round of disappointing earnings results. Medibank shareholders can't complain. First half profit was up 10% and it's on track to meet its prospectus forecast but the forecast suggested it won't be easy recruiting new customers. Falling oil prices saw Santos report a $935 million loss after $1.6 billion in write downs and weaker commodity prices have had an impact on where the money's going when it comes to emerging markets. This graph of changes to the emerging market index shows that the index weighting is becoming more heavily influenced by Asia as opposed to South America. In other words, the money is going to Asia, a region of commodity importers, and away from commodity exporters like South America. The Australian dollar took a bit of a hit earlier today, but it's come back to 78 US cents, and that's finance.